Hi, I'm Dan from Livernoy Motorsport. I want to talk a little bit about flex fuel on 2017 and newer F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. So a lot of people have the question, what is flex fuel and what does it mean? Well, flex fuel means the ability to put in E85, gasoline, some combination of that, and let the computer figure out what percentage of ethanol is in there. So with a flex fuel tune, you can put in five gallons of E85, 10 gallons of gasoline, and the computer will automatically figure out the proper air fuel ratio and how the truck should run properly. Now, a lot of people say, hey, I have a flex fuel tune, but I only can run E85. Well, that's not a true flex fuel. What we've done on the 2017 and newer 3.5 EcoBoost is basically turn down the logic that allows the thing to learn what percentage of ethanol is in the vehicle. By doing that, it lets you put in all different combinations of E85, 93 octane, and go from there. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple demonstrations on our F-150 here. One with it, with a 93 tune in it, and what the difference is once we put ethanol or E85 in it. This is going to be the same calibration with 93 and with ethanol, and the computer will automatically figure out what we need. So stay tuned. We'll do some dyno work and show what we got. Okay, we went ahead and made the 93 octane pole. As you can see, it made 384 horsepower and 423 foot-pounds. Not bad for a 93 octane tune, uh, but we want to go ahead and get to the point of this is running the E85. So we're going to go ahead and drain the fuel out and put in straight E85, keep the existing calibration in the PCM, and we're going to see what it does. Now, this thing will need a few parts to make the E85 um, fuel demands proper for the truck to run right. Um, one of the main components is going to be the high pressure fuel pump, a set of injectors, and also the intake pump. The intake pump is a must as it really does tax the fuel system. So it's, it's one of them things you, you can't get away not doing. The high pressure fuel pump, because this is DI and PI, it's not a must, but it's, it, it's what we consider the right thing to do. There's many gains to be with DI under wide open throttle and that's a different topic, a different day discussion, but it's definitely something that helps out in power and detonation. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make this change and we'll make some pulls and we'll get back. We got the 93 drained out, put E85 in, we made some poles, we made 450 horsepower and 513 foot-pounds. That's really good. On a typical E85 uh, versus gasoline comparison, we see 10% gain or more. This one's a little bit more than 10%, but it's pretty good. I know people are going to ask if it can make more power. Yes, it can. The tune that we do provide, it is conservative. If somebody wants to make more, it's definitely something we can do. But I've been running this tune in my truck for over a year, had no issues, and I think it's something everybody would like. Anyway, for more information, see us at Livernoy Motorsports. Mm -hmm.